and welcome back to my channel. So today's video <laughs> There's hair in my mouth. Once again, it's too hot for sweaters here. I'm a little toasty. Today's video, we are going to be doing a gift guide for boys. So whether it's a boyfriend, a dad, a brother, a friend, any kind of like male person, I got you. So my cousin said I should do this video, and I was like, that is such a good idea. Too bad I know nothing about boys at all. I can tell you how to make a super cute DIY pillow. That was my last video, link down below. But I don't know a boys like, they're a whole different species. Like they're not human. Whatever they are, they're not one of us. I I don't understand them. They're weird. They're hard to shop for. If someone thinks that a girl's hard to shop for, try shopping for a boy. So I found a boy and had him write me a list of things that boys like. So I had this list of all boy handwriting. And then one 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 thing at the end that's mine. Yeah. This is a boy approved list. So a bunch of these are things that you can get for your dad or your boyfriend or your brother or your guy friend or whoever you need to shop for. And they also range from all different prices. So if you want to spend a lot or a little. I don't even know how many things are on here. I would count, but I don't feel like. <laughs> also, side note, side note mm -hmm. I'm doing Vlogmas on my second channel, so I'll have that link down below if you guys want to see it. It's super fun and exciting. I also got my account hacked on Twitter and Instagram, so I changed my username to at KeeganTaylor13. Let's get started with the video. The first idea I have for you guys is a watch. You don't need to get a super expensive watch. There are tons of places that you can get cheap, nice quality watches. I know for one boyfriend that I had for his birthday, I got a watch from Fossil. In the back, I like engraved something cute on it, and it was cute. But there also are some boys that if you get them a watch, they'd be like, I don't want this. So all these gifts really depend on the person and who it is and what they like. A watch is a really great gift, in my opinion. The next one is a date jar. I wouldn't recommend getting this to like your brother or your dad, but boyfriend. A lot of these are aimed towards your boyfriend, but like you can also give them for like other people, you know what I mean? So a date jar, this is a really awesome thing that if you guys always don't know what to do, so you can just put like a bunch of popsicle sticks and then write down date ideas and then put them in a mason jar, and then that's your gift. You can also do a restaurant jar, so if you guys never know, like, where to go for food. You can have a restaurant jar and then have different color like popsicle sticks for each price range. Concert tickets is another one. I think this is a super cool gift. I love concerts. I think they're so much fun. So concert tickets, if you guys have a band or a singer that you both really like together or even like a comedian. One thing about this gift is if you just started dating, Make sure the concert's like soon or like don't get them this. If you get them concert tickets that are like for eight months in the future and you've been dating for like a week, that might be like, wow, she's expecting me to be dating her for eight months. What if he wasn't like interested in that? What if you break up and then he goes to the concert with his new girlfriend and then you're sitting at home crying because he's taking your money that you spent on a concert? I don't know. If you've been in a relationship for a really long time or you plan on dating for a really long time, this could be a good gift, but you just have to like make sure that it's like your relationship is secure. Super awkward if you break up for the concert. Clothes. All people need clothes. If you know his style really well, I think this is great. Boys suck at shopping. Some boys just have really bad style and maybe this could be like a little hint like, wow, you your clothes suck. Here are some nice ones that look nice. This one, when my friend Ryan, who wrote the list, put this one down, my heart like skipped a little beat. It was so cute. Matching pajamas? How cute is that? <laughs> I would love that. I think matching PJs are so cute. You have like a PJ party and like if they're Christmas themed, even better. Cologne. This one is super awesome. Cologne can get expensive, but there's also super cheap colognes that smell just as well. And if your boyfriend smells really gross all the time, this could be a nice hint for him to start smelling better. Because every time he's around you, he's gonna feel like he needs to wear it because you got it for him. So then he won't smell as gross if your boyfriend smells gross. Some boys smell really gross. I mean, just make sure he's like bathe in it, smell really bad. I was walking in the hallway one day and I walked by a bunch of boys and I have never smelt so much cologne in my life. Like my eyes started watering. It was just so like potent. I was like, oh. Maybe you can give him like instructions with the cologne, like one or two sprays a day. Vans. I think that like most boys wear vans that are teenagers at least, maybe not like dads or whatever. So whether they're like slip-on vans or like white vans or like the checker, I don't know. There's a ton of different types of vans. Make sure he doesn't already have the ones that you're getting him. Make sure you know his shoe size. Beats. Whether this is like the headphone beats, like the wireless ones or like a pill like a Beats pill kind of thing, you know, speakers, so like headphones, speakers, things like that. If they really like music and they listen to it all the time, I think this is a great gift. There's also cheaper headphones and speakers out there if you can't afford Beats, but I think that's a really awesome gift and it's something that I definitely did not think of. Socks. Girls aren't only... <laughs> Hair was in my mouth. Girls are not the only ones that love socks. One time I had a boyfriend and he was always like joking around with me and he was like, oh my god, I'm so jealous that you get to wear fuzzy socks. So I got him fuzzy socks as part of his Christmas gift. And he loved them, I think, unless he was lying to me about it. But I think he liked them because he wore them all the time. Fuzzy socks are where it's at. There's like men's fuzzy socks on Amazon. Throw 
throwing that out there. Another one is a road trip, which I think is a really great idea. You can do a road trip like up north and go sledding or snowboarding, or you can do a road trip to the beach or anywhere, you know what I mean? This obviously depends on your age. If you're like 14 years old, maybe don't get your boyfriend a road trip. I don't know if his parents would love that or your parents. My friend Sam, her dad loves giving the gift of memories instead of objects, which I love that. I think that's so just it's adorable. I Oh, really high pitched. I think that's adorable. So I think just giving someone a gift of like a memory is super awesome. So this next one is jerseys. Apparently like basketball jerseys are like trendy now for guys. I didn't realize that until Ryan who wrote the list told me about it and I was just like, okay, like I didn't know that. Apparently jerseys are super trendy. This next one I wouldn't give a guy. I just think that's weird, especially because I'm 17. Like he said, he says, he said on here, Calvin Klein underwear. I don't know if I'd ever get a guy Calvin Klein underwear. It's like underwear in general unless I'm like married to him or like in a super committed relationship when I'm older. I'm 17. I think that'd be kind of weird to give a person underwear for Christmas. You do you. He put it on the list. If you guys have been dating for a really long time, you can get them more expensive things like Calvin Klein hoodie or the, I don't know how to pronounce it. Tommy, it's like the Tommy Hill. Tommy H. Clothing. So there's a dent, a, a dent. A done. There's a done. There is a ton of different types of clothing that those more expensive brands have. If you guys put a price limit on your gifts and it's a little bit more pricier, then you can definitely get them those. I wouldn't get them those if you don't have a price limit though, because imagine if you like got them a bunch of really expensive clothing and then they got you like candy and fuzzy socks and it's like, oh, I spent a lot more money than you, who, and that's like awkward for both of you and it's just like, ah. So if they have a hobby or they play sports, you can get them stuff for that. Play basketball, you can get them like basketball. So I don't really know if they like are into like weights, you can get them stuff for like, I don't know. You know what I mean? If they have hobbies or they're into certain stuff, get stuff like that for them. I like those gifts because they're very personalizable. The person thinks like, wow, they put a lot of thought into this because they're getting me something they know I would like. So those are the kind of gifts that I like giving, you know what I mean? Candy, you can never go wrong with candy. Make sure you get them candy they're not allergic to. That'd be awkward. Baked goods as well. If you love to bake, let me know if you guys want a baking video for like the holiday. I keep going like this, like, yes girl. You get him this. If you guys want a baking video from me, I can totally do that. I have the best cookie recipe in the entire world, and I'm not like exaggerating. Like, ask anyone that's ever had them, they're, they're bomb. Baked goods are also super great because you made them by hand, and boys love food. Food is the way to a boy's heart, let me tell you. And mine. The next one is tickets to zoo lights. That is an awesome, super cute date idea. If you guys are against zoos, I totally get it. There's also a ton of other things that you guys can go to, like where I live. I live in Arizona. There's like Glendale Glitters, which is another light thing. There's like the World of lights which another like get them like tickets to anything like kind of holiday themey themey themed and I think that'd be a super cute gift idea and once again it's a memory instead of an object so if they have a favorite role model whether it's like a basketball blah, 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 whether it's like a sports player or a singer you can get them something that's like maybe autographed or something from that person it, this can get expensive but depending on who it is it can be kind of cheap you can do a favorite thing basket so all of their favorite things put together their favorite food their favorite drink their favorite candy like little things that they love and then you can put their favorite restaurant or store and get gift cards for there. I've done favorite thing gift baskets for a lot of guys and my pal. I, I sound like I've had so many boyfriends. I have not. I've just given a lot of gifts to people. I love giving gifts. <laughs> so a favorite thing like gift basket, like a bunch of little small things that they love. I think that's a super great gift and it obviously means that you put a lot of thought into it. Hats. I always see guys wearing hats. The Bass Pro Shop hats are like popular where I live. I guess I don't even know what Bass Pro Shop is. Like a I don't even know. But I heard those are cheap, so you can get them hats, whether it's like a baseball hat or like a snap, I don't know. Guys like hats. Just don't get them this. I don't know if they'd like this. Video games, if they're into certain types. It can be like those like killing games or like pew pew pew, or it can be like the football games where they're like running and like passing the ball. I don't know. Like, oh, go on. <gasps> I know nothing about boys. Good thing I have this list from a boy. The next one is a hydro flask, and then you can get them like little stickers to put on the hydro flask. I don't think I've ever seen a bear hydro, ever. I've never seen a hydro flask without stickers on it. Hydro flask, if you guys don't know what those are, those are like the water bottles that are super insulated your water stays cold for like 50 million years the world could end and you'll still have ice in your cup they're kind of more expensive but there's also knockoff versions of them you can get a hydro that's like their favorite color or something or you guys can have like matching ones like couple goals this next one Ryan did not write on this list but I wrote on this list because I've given two boyfriends this gift and they've all loved it and it's a fuzzy blanket and it's literally the best gift ever and you'll be the best girlfriend ever and the best thing about a fuzzy blanket is when you go to their house hang out you can use the fuzzy blanket like you can Fuzzy blankets all the way. Who doesn't love fuzzy blankets? Like if someone doesn't love fuzzy blankets, cut them out of your life. Cut it out. 
<laughs> so that is all of my gift ideas for boys, boyfriends, gut friends, dads, uncles, your mailman, I don't know. But I hope that you guys like this video. My foot is literally asleep right now. And don't forget to check out my vlog channel to see vlogmas. I'm going to winter formal today at my school, so I'm vlogging that. So if you guys want to see it, link down below. And to follow me on all my social medias, because I am mediocre and cool and not really, but like I can pretend to be. And subscribe if you're not already. I'm giving you like a checklist. Like I should give you a list of like check this off, check this off, check this off. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I love you. I really do.